Blade Smiths. Welcome to the Forge. Gentlemen, in our first round of competition today, we're not gonna make you salvage steel from junk. Instead, we're gonna give you these. Crucibles. Crucibles have been used by Smiths since the Bronze Age, all the way up to the Iron Age and the invention of steel. A crucible is a staple in any Smiths forge. And in your first round of competition today, you will secure one of these crucibles, smash it, and then using the steel inside of your crucible to make a signature blade in your signature style that is between 12 and 14 inches in length. Your three hour starts now. Ooh, grab your pot, grab your pot. Is crucible another word for uh, bladesmith's pinata with goodies? <laughs> yeah, right? I have a pile of square pieces of steel. How am I going to be able to stack these up and weld these? It's just an awkward size and awkward shape. Peyton's been over at the welder for a while. He's got a lot of tiny little cubes to weld together. I think he's got about eight of them. And I am thrilled that I picked what I got. I do layered Damascus. This is what I hoped I would get. Jason has the easiest, because you already got your stuff cut. It's only the length. My game plan with this steel is just to stack it, draw it out, and start forging my blade out. As I'm stacking the steel together, I want to make sure that everything is straight and flat and that there's no voids in between the steel. Because if there's something trapped in between the layers, it's not going to turn out right. What I love about bladesmithing is being able to take raw materials and turning it into pretty much a piece of art. Mitch had those ball bearings he was working with. The hardest of all are the three ball bearings, because you got to do something with those. Personally, I'd spend the time to turn them into rectangles. Right now, I'm going to try to get two of them out to billet size, forge weld them together to be able to meet the parameters. So I've got to really try to pay attention and hope I don't get a cold shut in the steel once I forge weld it together. Hopefully, these two work. And if not, I still have that one ball bearing if all else fails. Right now, I'm hoping to make all of these individual pieces of steel one solid bar. Now I can concentrate on turning it into a knife. That is a nice looking bit. It's solid all the way through, nice even coloring. I've got my two ball bearings welded together. I go over to Big Blue to start forging it to shape, and I notice that I have a D-lamb. It's significant enough, I don't think I can grind past it. I'm really trying to salvage the piece that I'm working with, because I've got a lot of time in it, and I definitely do not want to start over. I feel like I've gotten rid of most of the D-lambs, and so I start to forge out the shape. OK. I look at the clock, and then I look over that power hand, and I'm like, all right, it's game time. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot better. It's a knife now. Everything's straight, no cracks. Now I can start working on the aesthetics of it. Something's going on in there. He's got a bad weld. I just had a complete failure on my forge weld. But I don't have time to chase this. Has he abandoned the blade? I don't know. I have no other choice but then to use my last ball bearing and start over. There's not enough Dang. steel in that two inch ball bearing to make a 12 to 14 inch blade. I'm going to stretch it out and see if I can make it happen. The quench is vital because if I don't have a strong blade, if it's not hardened, it's just a piece of mild steel. Like, There's no reason to continue this competition if I can't get that blade hard. She's hard. All right, it's it's straight. I'm good. As I draw it out, I realize that I'm not going to have enough blade length, and so I know I'm going to have to incorporate the rebar into the tang section to be able to meet parameters and have a handle. It looks like Mitch is going to use the work stick as his tang. <laughs> Rebars hold up skyscrapers, so uh, I think that's a smart move. Five, four. Three, two, one. Bladesmith, shut down your machine. Stop what you're doing. This first round of competition is over. Bladesmiths, welcome to the strength test, the fire brick chop. To test the strength and durability of your edge as well as the overall construction of your knives, I'll be bashing them into these fire bricks. 
Remember, this test is all about what those bricks do to your knives and not what your knives do to the bricks. Jason, you're up first. How are you feeling? A little nervous. I'm ready. I appreciate your honesty. Well, Jason, got a major problem. There's a reason our caps are there. It's to deal with some of the stress that's going through your handles here. What's remaining of the handle has separated from the guard, meaning if I were to swing it one more time, it's just going to become a projectile. All right, Jason, big problem. Your blade has suffered a catastrophic failure in the handle and can no longer continue with testing. You went four strikes on those fire bricks, so you're not out of this competition yet. You gentlemen have to survive four fire brick chops in order to move forward in this competition. So let's get it started. Peyton, you're up next. Ben? After seeing Jason's handle fall apart, I'm a little bit worried got these weld lines in there, I'm, maybe they could fail. My handle isn't perfect. I mean, I mean, it could blow apart too, just as well as his. I have no idea what could happen. Well, Peyton, you survived. Well done. Thank you. Mitch, you ready for four? Yes, sir. All right, let's do it. The biggest thing I'm worried about is having some type of structural issue with my handle. I had a really hard time getting the pommel to stay on, so I'm not 100% sure how secure the handle is. I was super nervous. I and bricks and fire bricks over that. Well, Mitch, you held up. Oh, well done. Thank you. All right, Bladesmiths, what we have here is two blades that can continue with testing. Jason, unfortunately, your blade cannot. And therefore, please leave the forge. Come on forward, my friend. That's a great blade. Thank you. Uh, I got caught up on certain things that I should have tried to speed through a little bit quicker. And before long, I, I was out of time. Good luck, baby. Thanks. You kind of get in a panic mode and start putting stuff together that you normally wouldn't do, and that's the result. 